Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a long while, I have no excuses, but I want to get back into it. And to do that, I thought I'd start us off with a really small haul that I've done. That I've done? Well, a really small haul. It's a shopping trip, recently shot and I thought I'd show you what I've got. These are some really nice pieces and I think some of the best finds you find when you least expect it. So for example, I did go up uh, into my town centre. I was hoping to find some nice things from Primark that I can throw together. Found absolutely nothing but like a couple of things that weren't what I went in for. But on my way out of the town centre, I ended up going through a few shops and I actually found some things in the sale, which I never do. So I'm really excited about it and I'm going to show you them today. So I actually was a bit cheap and basically Primark was the first shop that I went to. So therefore I didn't end up buying bags anywhere else and I ended up just throwing it all in here. Uh, no matter where I went so uh, yeah so I'm just going to dive right into it um, that's something I actually want to talk about so like in the UK there's now I don't know if we're like late joining this or whether we're one of the first like I never really hear about it but basically we get charged for our carry bags which you know I get it recycling etc etc um, the paper bags, for example, because they're recyclable, you don't have to pay for them, which is why I've ended up just using the bag, just because I've got loads of plastic bags downstairs and I just didn't really need any, so. Anywho, I want to know, is this like in every country, like, do you have to pay for your bags in the US as well, or, in fact, I see in the US a lot of bags, like maybe grocery bags and stuff, are already paper bags, actually, thinking about it. Maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, so I think what I'm going to try and do is actually start with Primark because that's where I went first and kind of just go from there and see what comes out. So I actually went into Primark because I wanted to find some tops to go, um, well with anything really and for work clothes, casual, everything. Didn't find anything, however I did end up finding myself in the lingerie department. Um, actually that's something I want to talk about in there right now if you love friends now is the time to go because they've got a whole like pajama section of you know pajamas that just say I'd rather be watching friends or central perk loungewear stuff like that so if, if you like it I know that they do a lot of theme stuff and currently friends is in there in all one anyway in Staffordshire but so I'm going to quickly show you this is like a really weird thing to show and I also I don't know why but I don't want to like show you my size or anything so I'm just kind of like going flip the uh, hang around but basically oh by the way it's not actually on the hanger very well anyway because I tried it on when I was in there and you know what it's like when you like try some on you can't get it back on the hanger properly anyway it's basically just a bra um, so it's black and then it's just got floral on. It's it's like nothing major, um, but it does have like two straps. It's hard to see because I'm holding, there we go. If I hold the back straps, you can see there's actually two straps on the front. One that goes over your shoulder as normal and one a bit further along. When I actually picked it up, I wasn't too sure what I thought about it, but tried it on. It's actually really flattering and it's different and I needed new bras anyway. So I ended up going with them well with that bra um, as well as that I actually did buy the matching knickers and I think it's a bit weird to show you that and you can already see the pattern so you kind of get the gist anyway it's just knickers with the same pattern on and that's actually all I got from Primark the bra itself was £10 and the matching knicker set which you actually get two sets of knickers with so one first set of knickers is like this um so it's black with you know flowers on and stuff and then the one behind it is kind of like uh, the dark flowers there that's the color of the entire knicker just realized as well it looks slightly different in the camera so in the camera that looks quite red whereas it's actually more of like a purple undertone but anyway that's what i got from primark 
So the next shop that I went into was actually River Island and I actually do like River Island lately. They've got some really nice uh, items in there and they're also like quite basic. Um, well some of their stuff is, some of it's a bit too out there for me. You can see I'm quite like, in fact this is from River Island a while ago. Um, this is quite like a basic just jumper, it's got like a logo on there and it's quite like oversized, uh, if you think about that as the size of me, that's how wide it actually goes. Anyway, it's raining outside so I just thought it'd be comfy. I'm going off topic here. So, I'm going to show you them in no particular order. As I've said, all these three items are in the sale. Um, and I just really like them. Um, this in particular I like for work so this is actually like quite a thin but really nice material. Why wow, does it look so big in the camera? Um, but basically it's just a basic tee, uh, grey. Uh, it is quite thin, not so much because the light's behind me you can see through it but like when you're actually wearing it you can't see through it. Um, this bow is actually attached um, and I really like that because I've actually got some long wide leg trousers that would go with some of the colours in there. Um, so yeah, and I actually really just like the look of that tucked into jeans or jean shorts actually. All my work trousers, whatever. And that is a size small and that was £7. It's meant to be 18 and it's now 7 I also got this. This is just another t-shirt. This is more so to wear uh, at home purely because for work I'm not allowed to wear anything with actual logos on it and even though it's not a purple logo it does say something on it and I'm not sure how they'd feel about it but again basic and it's comfortable. I don't get what the materials of their tops are actually but they're so comfy some of their clothing is. Um, doesn't even say what it's made out. Oh, it does. So 79% cotton and 21% polyester. What's this one made out of? Because this one's like a little bit different, the one with the, the bow on. This one's like, it feels more pyjama -y. Like, this one's even more comfortable. That is 100% viscose. I don't know what a viscose is, but it's soft. This top was meant to be £18 and it was also £7 and I got that in a size 8. Not entirely sure why the first top was in like small, medium and large. It must have just been the way it was made. But there we are. Um, this one's a little bit more harder to show you but I hope you will understand it. But basically it is like it's just a shirt so it buttons down the front and then right at the bottom it's got like a, a tie where you can just make it a little bit tighter around the bottom of your waist. Gives it a little bit of something extra. And I don't know if you can see the pattern there. Hang on. But it's like, it's stripy blue and white. And that's actually really flattering on. It doesn't look it in the camera probably. But that's actually a really nice piece. That was meant to be £26 and I got it for 12 that's actually in a size 6 and I actually thought when I picked it up, when I found it on the sale rack, I was actually quite disappointed because I thought to myself, it's never going to fit because normally I'm like a size 8 on the top and then the bottom's like an 8 to a 10 and I kind of, depending on the material, especially with this not being stretchy, I actually didn't think it was going to fit. When it did, I was so excited. So yeah, anyway... That is literally everything I bought today. I told you it was going to be a mini haul, but I just really wanted you to see those pieces. Mainly because if you're watching this, like, you need to go down to River Island or wherever and see what's in them sales. Like, that's it for today's video. Hope you've enjoyed it. I am going to be trying to make far more videos. I won't get back into it. And I'm really excited. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you leave a comment down below of where your favourite stuff to shop is. Or do a response video of stuff that you've bought lately. Subscribe so you don't miss the next video. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.